constantly a social media person. Of course. Is it something that at times gets in your head it and does. you feel like <laughs> I haven't even finished what can I get just <laughs> Okay but I okay, give finish, times finish no, no but I know like even from someone like you probably uh-huh. it's something that gets to you because at times mm. you see these people whose life are flourishing in a very yeah. extreme way yeah. and then you're like why isn't it happening to me like it's this like, hey. Amma, why haven't my things on my doors opened Going. yet is that something that at times you deal with and a it's a lot. bit tough? Hey, me, I'm telling you a lot. Mm. I can even give an example. So recently, yeah, um, we, 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 I have like Instagram followers and we follow each other. Like, right? We actually post most of our activities online. So, yeah. so I happened to move out, but mm-hmm. I did not post it. And my friends move out, but they're big influences more than I am. Mm. So they post it. So I'm like, hey, babes, how come we moved out at uh, the same time? Like, they, they paid for their house yesterday. I also yeah. paid for my house yesterday. Mm-hmm. Now, can you imagine? This, this ladies, they finished furnishing their house. Mm-hmm. And me, I'm still one step at a time. And, and yeah. I'm like, guy, like, what are these people doing that I'm not doing? I've just been told like, the price of the couch. You're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, you guys already have a couch and a bed and everything in the house. It, it looks really lovely. And I'm like, what? Mm-hmm. And we, you know, especially consider it, it actually affects someone considering if you are admits. But yeah. you know, sometimes from my Instagram, my followers too, like some of the ladies who follow me, they're like, "Oh, you have such a good life." Yeah. Uh, Sana, by the way, like a lot. Like ladies keep asking me, "What do you do for a living? What do you do for a living? Your Instagram is amazing. Fire. Your your life, especially the stories they post. Hey, you go to very nice places. Sometimes I try to post and tell them. Yeah. Uh, don't take everything I post personally yeah, yeah. because I, I might be faking some of the Because I'm picking the highlights. I'm picking the good parts of my yeah, life. I'm yeah, not yeah. showing you everything. Yeah, I'm not showing... You yeah. know, I can show you... Like, see, I can even be with a guy. This guy just bought me dinner yeah. and I'll post that. But yeah. I won't post the part he harassed me of course. and I cried really true, badly. True. But when I when I leave... But now when, when I, you see that video... Yeah, you think, hey, this baby is really having the yeah. best time of our life. But you true. don't know, I've just argued with this guy and mm. we're not okay and he's like, you go back home and maybe we had lesser plans, right? True. Like a lot happens, you know. Yeah. Like I feel like a lot happens. Oh, so anyways. Hey, look at you. <laughs> like, hey. No, but I'm just saying because it's tricky because... Hey. I think even like let's say for me when I was doing my TikTok I was uh-huh. always posting videos and stuff but uh-huh. now when <clears throat> I started posting apartment transformation videos oh. that's when I was getting followers like oh, a okay. lot of people really? that's when yeah that's when I got now a lot of people they're like uh-huh. wow what? okay you're doing this because uh-huh. now I'm showing them like the couch that I'm getting yeah, how I'm measuring yeah. and stuff but then like I also started realizing like there's some people who are taking this like the wrong way because uh-huh. It might, it's, I, I would think it's motivation, but there's some yeah, people who genuinely people, feel uh, bad because like, uh-huh. okay, why am I not having this? Oh, yeah. But I'm always trying to explain like, <laughs> yo, but you have to understand. Have you asked yourself like, where I'm coming from? Where I'm coming from? Like, yeah. just go, go see maybe previous posts, see what I was doing before yeah, I started before, go, getting yeah, to. Yeah, true. Yeah, and some of us have grind. I'm telling you like, uh, hey. I'm telling you those girls who used to be like, uh, hey. But this is where me. you stay. No, but, but like, hey, <laughs> I'm just telling you. So. But you know, personally for me too, like if someone uh, checks out my social media, they think, oh, this babe, this babe has had the best. Yeah, but You're just five I star everything. There, You're but, just five star. But before I got there, I was yeah. really a kenyeji. Oh yeah, yeah. my God. Like life was... <laughs> Like I wasn't posting. It, it was slow progression. It came like pole pole. Like, yeah. you know, Achan Kwameki too. Like I just realized. Yeah. I'll just, I'll just say this. Even if I've, I don't like tell a lot of people, yeah. but personally, I'll be honest. Before I got to be, I got uh, to become the babe I am right now. Yeah. Like I'll, I'll have, you know, like some pride over, pride over some things. Like I, what's that you're giving me? I, like where you're taking me? Yeah. My friend, I've even sold smokies for a living. I've sold smokies. My friend, I'm telling you, I've sold. Like I was just. But I, I think I was just so motivated yeah. to coming out of poverty. Yeah. So yeah. I had to do everything I could. So like maybe and there's a, nothing wrong with that. There's not, me, but you I'm see, telling like, you, that I was even a step used to like yeah, actually, a step. Like I used, to, I used to even enter like these small small local hotels. Yeah. Like hey, can I do your, your, you know, like. Whatever, can I do dishes for you? Yeah, can just I something wash? small. Can I yeah, do something? Yeah, so that I can, I can maybe do something for myself. Whether it's food I wanted, whether I wanted to like have nice hair, you get. Yeah. So it was a step 
at a stop. Like I just feel at times I can say, I'm, hey, me, I'm a living testimony. Yeah. Yo. And I think that's I what at times, yeah. even like young girls, like even when I have young girls in the podcast, I'm uh-huh. always telling them like you, you guys don't understand. If you want, ask girls who are slightly older or who have experienced life, just ask them genuinely like yo, like is it as easy as people make it look? Because yeah. I think at times people just have the rough idea of like how the final product or where yeah, people have already true, like changed true, true, in true, life true, true. Yeah. and they forget like these people actually had to grow into yeah. this character. Of but course. That, yeah, mm-hmm. there's a babe who texted me two days ago. Yeah. So like what do you do for a living? You look really nice. I had to lie to her. So that <laughs> no, like for real. I told her uh-huh. something. No, like I told her yeah. something that would make her feel more comfortable because I didn't want her to give herself pressure. Like yeah. I want I want to do the things. So I personally told her my mom traveled. Yeah. And she sends me money. She'll yeah. be like, "Oh, ah, okay, that's so relaxed. that makes sense." Like yeah, it's yeah. not; she's not doing it by herself. Yeah, yeah. She's getting support from somewhere. You know, like yeah. I was just trying to make her feel because I know, hey, it's not easy. Like no, but trying. that's what I'm saying. Like at times, like they need guidance from like. Hey, hey, it's and not, I think it's it's good to say something like that. But Pia, at times, I think mm. I'm always trying to tell like younger girls, mm-hmm. life is not as easy as you think it is because yeah, it's not. even as much as 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 older as we grow older yeah. like our parents are also getting older uh, that's true you see so you still true. also want to be there for them yeah, they were exactly. there for you so even if it's not 100% to, you yeah, still you have need to yeah you to be there for them too yeah, they can't still work the same yeah. way like they were working their bodies Kitambo. are actually getting exhausted yeah. now they're not the same so energetic if they're, if they're doing anything it should be kidogo yeah. and then you just boost them yeah and then you boost them but if they have to still grind because now you you can you're just demotivated with everything like you are stressed depressed no cuz i was telling I like understand. in another pe- episode uh-huh. i said like i think i don't want to say depression is a luxury uh-huh. but like for me i don't think that was an option because okay. i was those ones of like uh-huh. yo uh-huh. if i don't make it or figure this shit out yeah I don't see any other way. So it has hey, to, it has to work. But yeah, that's also also I feel like don't be too comfortable with life. Yeah, you the should. The minute be. you feel you're comfortable yeah. with what wherever you are, you're doing it wrong. Or life will come and give you a challenge yeah. and you'll be shocked because yeah. it will throw a curveball at you. Hey. And then you'll be like, oh shit. If that seat is see. too comfortable in a focal is <laughs> not true. <laughs> true. True. Yeah, if it's too comfortable, then you won't go anywhere. That's 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 how I learned personally. Mm-hmm. Like for me personally, if I feel like I'm staying in the house for two days and yeah. I just feel for a moment I'm getting comfortable. Too comfortable, yeah. Like, I think, oh, I can sit there and watch a movie and mm-hmm. sleep and I'm on Wi-Fi, I can mm-hmm. take talk and chat. I'm like, hey, there's something. Ah, but there's wrong. something. Yeah, yeah. Wake up, I'm wake up, wrong. wake up. Because um, mm-hmm. sometimes, you know what makes me feel happy is when I feel like I'm not even sleeping. Like, hey, I say, Leo, I haven't even slept. I'm so exhausted. I just know, hey, this day has. You been, did something. I did 